Hello and welcome to Ark, the complete series. We're on the island and the plan today is to get off the island. Uh, we're actually outside of the door for the Tep Cave because we want to take on the Overseer. If we can defeat the Overseer, we win and we can ascend. We can get off this um, this place altogether and start uh, making our way over to Scorched Earth. Now, I've got another slight variation of what I've done before. Uh, last time I did this boss fight, it was a case of I went in with a, with a Rex and I went in with some Allosaurs uh, and a Udri. Now the thing is, since then Wildcard have removed the auto roll feature. These these Udris don't auto roll anymore. They don't uh, automatically give out courage to troops. Um, so there's no point going in with a Rex to take on the Overseer, or at least me riding one, because I need the Udri to do its courage roll. So I'll be riding that at the end fight. Uh, assuming we survive, of course. Um, another thing I've noticed is that the it's like little tech variants of the of the original bosses. So that's like the Broodmother, the Megapithecus, and the Dragon. They all do extra damage now. They don't just bite. They actually give out the same sort of damage as their originals did. It's like the the Dragon, for instance, it actually breathes fire. So, I mean, I was originally going to come in here with some aloes um, until I found that out. So rather than spend the time breeding some extra aloes, I'm just going to use these Therizinos because most of them are left over from um, the, the actual Alpha Dragon fight. Uh, I've just bred up some more to make up for the lost numbers. And what I've also done is I've, I've now split these in two. So I've got a Deodon, a Utri and a bunch of Thera Therizinos in each group. And then we'll, uh, well basically th this group on the right, group one, its purpose is to get us through the tech cave. To be honest, I think the hardest parts are one, getting through the door, and two, getting through the tech cave. But the actual end boss fight isn't as bad. It's, it's, it's much harder getting in that door and getting everybody through and not getting stuck in the door and, and so on. Or people jump, you know, dinos jumping off the edge into the lava and so on. That's actually the hardest part. So I've got quite a lot of these Therizinos, just basically in case, well, just to cover the, the, the fact that we're going to lose some. Um. I know I used to use like a lot of Rexes originally, but the trouble is they then got intelligence and start climbing the walls that get stuck in the door. So that's a reason I prefer the so like smaller little medium sized dinos, if you will. So I'm just basically covering my back in case, well, it's a case of I need a lot of, I need, I need a lot as many dinos as I can possibly get to survive because we can take 50 in through this door, but we can only take a total of 20 up against the overseer. So I've got slightly more than that. Uh, way too many than what, you, what we actually need, but we'll just have to see how many can survive. Now, back in the days when Ark was in alpha version, using one of these little beasties in Archaeopteryx was an ingenious way of actually getting through the, the actual tech cave, because uh, the Overseer fight didn't exist. So you could actually literally glide your way all the way down through this, this tech cave and get through to either side and this end, but obviously now you're up against the Overseer. The reason I'm not doing that now is because my shotgun, well it sucks to be honest, I can't solo the Overseer uh, and all its little its minions and its boss and, uh, the little bosses because this shotgun's not up to it. Now I've seen other people do it but they have got way better uh, shotguns than I've got. Uh, the damage is just phenomenal compared to what this can hand out. And now I'm on the default settings. The server is, is it's just running on the whatever the default settings were. So I, I don't get that much uh, improvement. You know, when I add an extra point to the uh, the dinos, I haven't done anything to give them more um, more amounts in their stats. I haven't done anything to increase the loot quality of these weapons and so on. So the best I've been able to find was a 241 percentage um, damage uh, shotgun blueprint. I then did about 20 crafts, I made 20 of them, you know, by putting out all of my points into my crafting scale. I made about 20 and eventually I got that one there, so it goes up to 300%. So I've tried it because, I mean, I know the last time I was in there I couldn't actually go up against the, the Overseer with the um, tech armour, for instance, it didn't work. Uh, now you can. But you'd need a really, really good uh, shotgun to be able to pull it off, and I just don't have one, so I'm, that's the reason I'm coming in with, with these lot. But, I still want this little dude here, because I want to take advantage of the environment. I want to use that 
to the best of my advantage to try and speed up some of the time so that these lot get less damage because uh, obviously if we've got to go up against other dinos we've got to fight them it's, they're going to take damage uh, there's a risk of them running off the edge so wherever I can I'm going to try and use the environment uh, to my favour to lure dinos over the edge so that's the plan so these are as I say split into two groups we'll take this one in first and we'll try pulling this lot in we'll see how that goes and then we'll start to make our way through right so we've got about five minutes which it's not that long to be honest I've got to be really careful with this uh, Archaeopteryx mine. Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on. I don't want you all coming in. Uh, hang on, hang on. That wasn't the plan. I think, I think they... All right, I'm stuffed then. Um, everybody's decided to try and join in. So that's not, this is already, it's not going to plan. <laughs> Basically, that I think the Utrianus, for some reason, is following. And that wasn't my intention. Right, we're up to 13 so far. Now, I could use the leggings, the tech leggings, for instance, are really useful for getting through here very, very quickly. The problem I've got is I just find it way too fiddly. It's because they're following the Utrianus. And the Utrianus is following the other Utrianus. Come on, dude, come on. Any, any squeeze over there? Ha, now you can. Right, I don't want you. Let's see, so we're up to 14 so far, so they're starting to come through. I'm quite pleased I've been able to get quite deep into here so far. Right, still three minutes. There's still quite a few I can tell to get through. Now, what happened to you lot? Hang on, who are you? Are you are you ten? You're ten, aren't you? Yeah, I've been doing quite a bit of building around here. I just had to be careful because there's, there's certain areas you can't build, so I don't have that option enabled. Come on, you lot. Are you coming? I don't have that option to build over certain areas. Uh, the trouble then is that the um, you end up with that little bit of lava that's exposed. Right, so they've come in so far. So I ended up building walls and all sorts to try to stop them falling into that little bit of lava. Right, I think that'll have to do. Right, so I've managed to get it in time. So I've got 23 in total. But it is, it's complete overkill to be honest. It's more a case of, you know, how many are actually going to survive. Right, where's, uh, so this is, this is grimy, so, uh, let's take the group off, I don't want anybody following me, except for group one. Right, so they're just Utrys down there, so I'm going to set them... Guys, um, would help. Are you actually going to do anything? For some strange reason, they're not interested in fighting anything. I've got to be really careful because of the Archaeopteryx. Some why not? That's a lot of Utrys around here. Get over there! The last thing I want them is going off the edge. I think some of them are either stuck or something. Yeah, there's so many Utrys that it's going against me. It's a case of like, you know, who can, who can fear the quickest and the most. Ooh, Aloes as well down there. Ooh, blimey, I've managed to actually uh, 
tackle some Rexes, uh, some Farnos for some strange reason, that's unusual. What are we up against down here? I hardly see. Oh, that's was. Hang on. I haven't taken my suits, and for some strange reason, I haven't turned my tech helmet on either. This is not. For some strange reason, uh, I can't whistle an attack. Weird this. Come on. Oh, that's not a good start. Oh no, my Archaeopteryx was killed. That's a reason I knew I should have left the Archaeopteryx up the top. Drat. It's normally only Therizinos that can hit you. Guys, um, tell you what, I'm going to change this strategy a bit. Group one basically is made up of about four of these beasties. Uh, the rest of them are following me on passive because they, they were like spares to replace any that I lost. That was the plan. Right, I'm just going to. Right, you let's stay there. Uh, you're carrying way too much garbage here. I brought a lot of ex um, exceptional kibblers spare for when we take on the fight at the end. Because obviously I'll be I'll have to heal all these lot up at some point. Yeah, they're not following me. Phew. Oh, don't tell me you're stuck. This is not good. Come on. Ay, ay, ay. Right. Everybody follow. Except don't box me in. Seriously, don't box me in. It's not gonna... And don't jump. Seriously, don't... That's another drawback, is the jump off the edge. <laughs> oh, that's true. I'm gonna go back up at top just on the off chance there's anybody left. Oh, come on, guys and gals, get out the way. You've got to be kidding me. Right, that's better. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm annoyed. I, I, I meant to left the Archaeopteryx uh, back up here. Because that's basically that's my, my sort of like emergency spare. Uh, it's my get out of jail free card. So as I say, this is the hardest part. I mean, you've got to basically get all of these down here without them falling into the lava. And it gets harder and harder. You get narrow net ledges. I mean, if they end up in, like, fights, they end up jumping off the edge, which is just nuts. Right, put them back on passive. And I don't want you following me. Just team one. Seriously? Are you like coming or what? <laughs> so I've got four because it's it's easy to handle four, basically. Um, right, these things, I can fear them. It's another thing I like about the Uriannis is I can, there's, there's dinos in here that I can just basically spook them. 
and I'll jump off the edge. See, if I had the Archaeopteryx, this could have gone easier. Get rid of them. Another thing I've found is um, if I give them courage, obviously they get a bonus to um, to damage and so on. But if I uh, if I fear the actual dino they're attacking, that gets a penalty. So it actually they tend to do a lot better. So they they get not only can they hit you know hit more, they can actually do more damage because that other dino is um, can't take as much. So hopefully a few of these will just run away. There's one less Pelovia to worry about. Let's see if I can spook more of them over the edge. Wow, everybody's after me. This is not good. But I should go through these aloes a lot quicker because I feared them. Yeah, they're pretty good, like, I want to say that for them. Go on, pretend you're a lemming and run off the edge, dude. <laughs> right. Go on, go and have some fun. Now it's a now it's a case of who can fear the most. Oh, there's two of them. Yes, yeah, two two can play at this game. I've got to be careful because my own Utrianus can get feared out of this lot. Come on. Not the car, no, this thing, man. 90%. Right, that's the Ute we dealt with. That's a good sign. It's never good to be getting hit from behind. Micro Raptors, I hate them. Oh, more Yugris, good grief. Be honest, sort it out then. Right. You lot stay put. Actually, I'm going to have to clear your pockets, aren't I? Yeah. They don't weigh much, but it's, it's mostly the pelt and whatever I've got to get rid of. Right. Uh, yeah, you lot stay there. And I'll go and get everybody else. So it's just a case of working my way through all this. Just frustrated that I've lost that Archaeopteryx because it could have come in very handy. I'll have to be a lot more careful. Because I can basically what I can do is I mean I can I can shoot wild dinos to encourage them to jump off the edge. Uh, good thing about the Archaeopteryx was that it's I can still lure like dinos like that without uh, if I don't have like the you know line of sight for instance it's okay so no one's gone into the lava um guys and gals seriously why are you not moving Guys and girls, 
I'm, I'm serious, man. I need to get out the way. <laughs> You're blocking me in, Every, and everybody's blocking everybody else in. Come on, move, man. I know you're dinosaurs and you don't have much intelligence, but all the same, move! Seriously, man, move! Ah, right out loud. Come on! You've got to be kidding me! Why can you not? Why can you not be bothered? Everybody's stuck on everybody else. That's why. Yeah, I say this. This is actually the hardest thing to do, is because we're stuck. Just stupid things like this. Let's see if I can get them to follow me. This is just nuts. The trouble is, I could put them into a cryopod, for instance, to get them out. You can't get them, uh, you can't put anything out, you can't get anything back out of a cryopod. That's the drawback. Are we on grimy or sooty? We're on grimy. So yeah, I mean, it's that was one of the first things I did try, was to use uh, cryopods, and you can't do it. You can't put anything into a cryopod and pop it out in this, uh, in this place. Oh, I drop her up against a giga. See if I... Tell you what, I'm going to take a massive risk here. Um, I need to get rid of that Giga. Why are they not? They're not budging for some strange reason. They take. I don't know what it is lately that dinosaurs can take forever to actually. Like, do anything. Right, you're Charlie 1. Which one are you? You're... Assume I can get that one out. be able to do this another way because as I say that the, the trouble I've got at the moment is that Giga's over there normally I'd want to just shoot it and pull it over the edge but unless I've got like a line of sight and I can on the other side of a um, yeah unless I've got line of sight on the other side of the actual like ravine I can't I can't get it to, to, to go where I want it to go so I need to get around it come on you lot so we might have to have a sacrificial therazino here. Right, one of them I think is... No, it's not, it's not stuck. Come on. Don't go over the edge, don't go over the edge. It's in nobody's interest to go over the edge. See, if I'd, if I'd been able to go over there, I could have pulled them lot into the lava from there. I'm going to have to fight these lot instead by the looks of it. Now, if I had the Archaeopteryx, I could have just literally glided over there, uh, for instance. Right, I'm going to have to do it. Let's put them... Assuming they've got the common sense to go there. It's not ideal because every time I have to fight these dinos, it costs me time. And to be honest, I'd rather be facing these than that Giga. Come on, guys and gals, get these out of the way. Oh, 
that's handy, it's jumped into there. I think it's jumped in there. Oh no, it's coming up. Or is it stuck on that side? Oh, it's stuck on something. Oh, that's alright then. Right, some of these will run away and some like the Pelovia will come after me. Um, a little help would have been good, you know, just saying. Could have, I could have done with some help there, folks. Ah, <laughs> oh, bizarre. Gotta be careful of those micro raptors. Alright, why are you not getting feared? That's not good. I'm not getting feared for some strange reason. Ah. <sighs> Last thing I need is to, to have a fight up there where I end up on the other side of the, the lake. The lava, I should say. Right. Let's pull what we can into lava. Even if they end up down there, I'm not too fussed because I might be able to pull them on from that side. You know, I can head over to that ledge and then try and pull them in the opposite direction, maybe. Let's see. There's a baryonyx over there. Oh, this thing's coming this way. Okay, so that's gone over there, that's good. I mean, I could have probably just feared that at Baryonyx, but for some reason it wasn't working. It just like, as that's what they do is they'll... That's what they do is they'll fear them or they'll literally blow them away <laughs> when it does a courage roll. Right, you let's stay there. Right, a bit of a gamble because of that. Uh, these micro raptors. Come on, skedaddle. You're not welcome around here. Come on, run away. There's, there's a big pool of lava over there. But it, you'll, you'll enjoy it, trust me. <laughs> oh, Capro's coming this way. Try and get as far over to this side as I can. Oh, rats, that wasn't the plan. Oh, I'll run over this edge. Oh, there's is still coming. Actually, it's got some intelligence behind it. That's a bit, a bit bizarre. I didn't expect that. What I'm trying to do is maybe if it goes after that one and that one goes over the edge and then the Giga follows it. Right, tell you what. Change of plan then. See, what, see if I can pull it from this side. If I had the Archaeopteryx, you see, I could have just like glided over. I mean, I know there's um, games changed a bit. I don't know why, but I seem to be able to get access to my uh, to things from the other other maps, which is unusual. Not 
normally like if, if say like I was on um, extinction for instance let's say I went to extinction um, hang on guys if I was on extinction and did like a mind wipe I would lose all of the engrams from like aberration scorched earth I'd have to go back to those to those maps to get them back again now for some strange reason I've got access to everything uh, and I don't know why because I don't remember that so I don't know whether that's deliberate or it's an, ac an accident right I'm not seeing anything hopefully it's not intelligent enough to actually come over the path again otherwise this is going to go pear shaped Oh, no, 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 no! How's it getting... These are a lot more intelligent than they used to be. Normally it would just go over the edge. It's very odd, that. Guys. Oh, we're taking a beating here. For some strange reason, they're attacking it instead of... Very odd, that. Oh, curiosity. I mean, they're actually getting damage, doing damaging it, which is interesting. I was expecting these things to... Wow! I did not expect that. Never in a month of Sunday. I I did not expect that. That is completely unexpected. If I'd known that, I would have just done it in the first place. <laughs> I can't believe that. Wow. I'm just amazed. Uh, you look, you've just taken a giga out, guys and gals. Be careful, no going over the edge. So what do they do? They go over the edge. You stupid fools, you just took a giga out. Oh, foobar. After all that or after all that m m amazing result. They went over the edge. Alright, come on you lot. to do it the old-fashioned way then. Don't go over the edge. Maybe that's the maybe that's the clue. Maybe I shouldn't tell them that. Maybe I'll be telling them to stay 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 on the ledge. <laughs> Come on. We've only got like half an hour left man. Come on. Seriously. I've already lost at least four Therizinos. That's not the plan. Right, you'll have to stay there. I'll have to go back. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, typical. I come back to get you when you decide all of a sudden that you can get you can get uh, get yourself free. Ah, bizarre. Yeah, does I say that would have gone a heck of a lot easier if I'd taken um Yeah, the Archaeopteryx along. If the Archaeopteryx had survived, it would have been simpler, but... It is what it is. This is what I'm bothered about the most, everybody jumping off the edge. Stay on passive. This is just crazy. Come on, Grimey. 
M. M, 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 M. Vai. Uh. Au, 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 au. Au, au, au. Au, au, au. Au, 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 au. Don't care. It's too risky. Everybody stay on passive. It's not worth it. Trust me, it's not worth it. Stay on passive. Oh, I'm stuck on something. Something's... Oh, it's that cap roll. Right, so there's more of them. Some more are getting through. Right, now you can take our capital out. It looks like a lot of them fell in there. In the lake. Oh, frustrating. Oh, it's rubber banding. That's quite handy, actually. Could be to my advantage because if it runs off the edge. Come on! You can't go where you want to go, so just go and run into the lake. Run into the lava. See? It's not difficult. Tell you what, everybody over here, if you can, I've got bigger problems. No, 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 no. Guys, you're, you're bunching up around me and it's not helping. Ow, shine that light, what was that? Oh, Rex's. Come on. Add a bit of moral courage to the... I think there was one of them... St yeah, one of them stuck. see if I can salvage that one. I don't think so, but... Yeah, that's another one gone. Ah, oh, so annoying. Come on, come on, come on. I need to get on Grimy. Come on, Grimy. Why aren't you spooking it? <laughs> we're blowing them about, but we're not, not fearing them for some reason. There we go. That's better. Oh, shine a light. Close. One thing I don't want to do is get these things going into the lava. Because we've lost a lot already. Right. Ouch. Charlie One's gone. Basically, I just want to pull as many of these things as I can into the lava. Oh, I want to lost a deer on. Ow, ow, ow. Last, that's going to hit my arm or something cruel. Just curious as to how much damage I'm doing with. Yeah, sometimes they'll, they will actually get out of the lava, but most of the time they don't. Be 
careful this time. creeping up behind me. Let's see if we can... Sp oh! Not good. Fortunately she's on passive so she's not going to suddenly go nuts. reason for having a Yuri. To be honest I don't have anything to be worried about by Dillo's like but you never know. Creatures, these capros. Yeah, it's not enough. They get right underneath you, which is a frustrating. That's odd, it's not feared. Unless it's stuck. Hmm. Are you losing your touch here, Grimey? something minutes to go. Yeah, I mean, the only reason I'm not bringing anything down here is it's just because it's... I'm taking a gamble on the, um, on the area because it's a tough area to fight in. Right, so I'm going to spook some of these. Hopefully I can get them to run away. Right, I'll go and get them, because I don't mind fighting down here. It's, it's still risky. But it's, um... It's better than over there. You're running out of stamina, aren't you? Ugh. It's like I say, the hardest part is literally actually getting your dinos to come and survive. That's what I find. I'm sure there's a better way to do it, a better strategy to, to get them to follow you, but I don't think I've got a deer done either. Yeah. Pushing it with the uh, Mount of Ferrazinos, I've lost quite a lot. I wish I'd known about that, de uh, that Giga though. If I'd known the Giga was going to be that easy to take down, I would have just um, cleared it straight away. Well, you live and learn. Ah, it's, it's going to be frustrating without a date on because I can't heal anybody. Chances are they'll have eaten all of their uh, sweet veggie cake. Frustrating. Right. We have to be careful because I don't want these things going off the edge. Yeah, I don't mind them. I don't mind the wild ones going off the edge, but I don't want mine going off the edge. <laughs> Twenty minutes and counting. Come on.
Now this is a, a really fiddly turn down here because it's very easy for things to fall. You know, they literally just go diving down past there. Past that ledge. Oh, back right here. Phew. That's one of the biggest problems is that if we'll go chasing after a dino, that dino ends up in the in the uh, in the, the water. That's better. Right, so I'm gonna have to straighten that. Go on and go on past them if I can help it. See if I can use the environment to my advantage here. No, it seems not. I was hoping to be able to see past there, but I can't. Probably it'll be alright. Oh, rats, I didn't wanna I didn't wanna hit the giga. <laughs> I want to take that out from. Oh, I wanted to take that one out from the other side. Then wait. Basically, I want to be over there shooting them, but I can't until I clear that lot out. Right. And I don't want to be fighting anything up on this ledge here. So. No sign of a deer dot, unfortunately. Blue bar. Can you stay still? Now is not a time to be having a rest. Target it. What are you just doing there? Hmm. What? I had a funny feeling that that Utri was doing a roar of some sort, which is unusual. Back it up. Back it. At least one of them's running away, that's a good sign. Good, so they've gone off the edge. Even if that one doesn't, it's out of aggro range, I think. Assuming it's not gonna come back. Oh, what was it? What the heck is that? Looks like an Arthur. That's right, jump over the edge, folks. That's what you should do. You know you want to. I'm not seeing another Giga Witches or I was expecting to see three gigas, I'm only seeing two, so this is only the second one. So unless that just hasn't rendered in over there or something. This is bad, it's not um Oh, I thought it was gonna be stuck there for a while. I think they're gonna be clever enough, are they? stuck. And the Giga's not coming either. Come on, you mobbit. Missed. And the Giga's out of render range.
Oh, is that gonna come after me? Ooh. Go on, run away. Run away, run away, jump off the edge. You know you want to. Right, I don't know if that Rex can get up the cliff. Go. It's a bit odd. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Right. I need to press forward to see what I can see. Well, there's a gigas down there. It's gone off that side, so that's good. I'm just amazed there's no giga. I'm, I'm sh I was expecting more than that for a giga, unless I've missed one along the way somewhere. Which is a good thing, to be honest. I mean... <laughs> I don't particularly want to be facing like three gigas. Go on, run away. That's not too bad. Right, so you're running out of stamina, so I'll have to get your stamina back. Health-wise, she's lost a lot. It's a pity I've got all of this exceptional kibble, but I've got no, um... I've got no dadons to use it with. Right, let's see if we can get the rest of them down here, then. I'm not sure off the top of my head how many we've got left. Uh, the more the better, especially since we don't have the deer on. I, mean, I don't know how how good a wreck. Uh, I mean, the the Utrianus that I've got there, Sudi, it's not it's not bred up for like doing any war damage or anything. It's got it's got quite a lot of health on it. it just doesn't have the uh, damage capabilities I'd expect that the rest of these look would have. One thing I don't like about these ramps is they end up falling off the edge. Right, so put all you want passive, just so you don't do anything stupid. Now, we're coming down such a steep incline that they start literally drifting all the way down. So you end up seeing them jumping down and, like, landing in front of you. See what I mean? The worry is they'll end up there. Uh, literally jumping off the ledge. Careful, careful, careful. Right, so... We'll find out. I mean, to be honest, I'm, I'm conscious of the time. There's not that much left. Um, we'll see where we get to. When we get to the end point... Oh no, you stupid idiot! Make a mad dash. Maybe if, if I'm lucky, it might be able to follow me through this way. Come on. Can you get out? You. That was close. Right, so we'll put our gloves on, we'll put that on, put that on. Put that off, put that off, just in case I need it. I need that for obviously the fall, so... Some suits. Right. Yeah, 
I'm not seeing any deer dons. So it looks like well, looks like we've lost both of them, unfortunately. But it is what it is. We'll have to make do with what we've got. I mean, if necessary, we'll have to resort to that shotgun, but I'm not confident it can do much. I mean, I've tried it before and it just takes too long. I just don't get the damage that um, I've seen other people get. Take them off, follow now. So, I barely made it with about 10 minutes left. Just gonna make sure that there's nobody got stuck down here somewhere. I know there's like some, I don't know, it must be like some coolant or something down here because it's full down here. Okay, it doesn't look as what anybody's got left behind. Well, that's the trouble is um, once you come through that door, all your possessions, all your dinos, that's it. You don't get them back. If you die in the tech cave or anything gets left in the tech cave, you'll not get them back. Um, if you beat the overseer, the dinos that are with you at the time will survive. The ones that were left in the tech cave, you lose. It's hit and miss as to what gear that's on you survive so ideally assuming you can win you want to put everything you've got into the nearest um, dino that you've got all of your gear to try and save it I know it took me a lot to get the um, to get the shotgun so I'm kind of reluctant to lose it like but as far as my way I might be able to get some better ones from scorched earth Let's hit it and see how many we've got left. It doesn't say it doesn't count. Normally that would say so many of twenty dinosaurs, so that's interesting. Out of curiosity. So you've still got yours. You've taken a bit of a hit. Hmm. I'm still not quite so. Literally, I'm going in here with however many Therizinos I've got. A spare Ubrianus. Ah, that's it. No Deodons at all. Oh dear. This is going to be tricky. 